Hello, it's Steve here again, and we're going to move on with the paradiddles. Um, being very thorough about this, we've started with the paradiddle and then the inverted paradiddle, and now we're going to look at the reverse paradiddle. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. I like that rudiment, I use it quite a lot. So now I'm going to apply it to the same principle of the bass drum, hi-hat and snare drum. I'm just going to play it between the hi-hat and snare drum now so you can hear. I'll just recap, this is the paradiddle played between the hi-hat and snare drum. This is the inverted paradiddle played between the hi-hat and snare drum. And now the reverse paradiddle played between the hi-hat and snare drum. I'm going to apply the same six bass drum variations and I'm going to do that to the metronome. So this is the reverse paradiddle, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, at 70 beats per minute with all six bass drum variations. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So that was the reverse paradiddle at 70 BPM. Now I've taken it up as before to 90 BPM. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. I've now taken the tempo up from 90 beats per minute to 120, just to get things motoring along a little bit. One, two, three, four.
And there you have it. That's the first three groupings of paradiddles that I'm looking at. The single paradiddle, the inverted paradiddle, and the reverse paradiddle. I'm going to have a look at one more paradiddle grouping, which is called the displaced paradiddle, where you start the paradiddle on the second sixteenth note of each bar. A little more tricky, but it's still good fun.